I'm here today to do a bit of a review of the Sun Blesser head torch and a bit of a giveaway as well. So I have been very kindly sent this head torch by Sun Blesser. Um, they have not told me what to put in this review. I'm not being paid, um, so any comments are my own. Uh, but I have been sent this and that's why I want to give it away to you guys as a bit of a thank you for um, supporting me basically, so thank you. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this torch with two other torches that I have. So I have this torch, which is the Eurohite torch, it's like five, ten quid or something, really cheap and this torch which is the Outkit Quark. So I will go through, I will put stats on the screen and tell you all about these torches. Um, I will weigh them, I'm going to see how long they actually last on full beam and I'm going to take them out tonight and actually give you a little demo of, of how bright these three torches are so that you've got a bit of a, a comparison to see how good the Sun Blesser is. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so first of all, we'll weigh the torches. Okay, so the Elk Kit Quark, with that tray included, is 95 grams. Now I think Elk Kit have been a bit naughty with their weight, because on their website it says 95 grams, which it does indeed weigh 95 grams on the scales. However, I took off this strap. So let's see how much this strap weighs. Weighs 14 grams. So really this torch should weigh 109 grams, not 95 grams. Elk kit, naughty you. But I took it off because I just didn't need it. So. And I guess that's what they thought a lot of people would do. And that's why they've said that it weighs 95 grams when it really doesn't. <clears throat> Honest reviews. So Sunblesser advertised this as weighing 45 grams. Let's see how much it actually weighs. 49 grams. Four more grams than advertised. Why can't people weigh things? It's not that difficult. And the uh, Your Hike weighs 79 grams, but it doesn't have a stated uh, weight on the website. So there you go. So let's dive into the specs then. So the Sun Blesser Head Torch currently retails for about £20 on Amazon. It has three colour modes, so it has the main beam. And then it has this soft white beam and it also has a little red beam as well. So it is advertised as weighing 45 grams and as being waterproof. I won't be testing the waterproofness just in case it's not that waterproof and I don't want to ruin it for the giveaway. So we'll have to take their word on that. So the power of this torch is 365 lumens. That's on maximum and 190 on high. There are a couple of other settings, but it doesn't tell you the lumens of those settings. It does say that it has a maximum runtime of 200 hours, but I'm going to be testing all three torches on maximum beam to see how long they last, because it's all well and good stating the maximum lumens, but if it only lasts two minutes, it's not going to really be that helpful. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a proper test of these torches. So the Elkit Quark currently is retailing from Elkit for around about £30. So in terms of power for the Elkit Quark, I am going to have to look at my phone for this one because they've been very good and given a table for all the different brightnesses. So I'll put that on the screen for you now. But in case you don't want to read that, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is. So the Quark has its lowest brightness setting, which is just 30 lumens. Uh, that will go 35 metres and will last 18 hours. And it's got medium 
and then bright i think that's bright no that's bright <laughs> so that one is 580 lumens and that is 150 meters for two and a half hours which is pretty impressive for a 30 pound torch so the euro hike has a maximum brightness of 30 lumens so that was the equivalent of the quark on its lowest setting it doesn't tell you how far it goes or for how long um, it just tells you that it has three brightness settings. So it's got the low setting, bright setting, and red setting. In terms of batteries, so the Eura Hike is a bit old school and it's got three triple AA batteries. So you're taking that out on a hike you do need to take some spare batteries with you. The Sun Blesser has got a little micro USB port um, with this little sort of waterproof cover there. So that's that one. And the Elk Kit has got a removable battery. So in theory, I guess you could have multiple batteries um and swap them over and it's the battery itself that charges through the micro usb also with the out kit you can also use three triple eight eight batteries so in terms of packaging the sun blesser also comes with this nice little carry case so nice and uh, nice and rigid and it's got the charging cable with it, just a little uh, uh, instruction book there. I think it's got a, a, a guarantee on it as well, actually. So that's quite nice, that fits in there and keeps it nice and protected. The Elk Kit comes with this little bag, which I have to be honest, I never use. Um, that just goes in my electrics bag. The Aura Hike doesn't come with anything. Okay, so first up, we'll have the Euro hike. So, low beam, there you go, that's what you get on low beam. And then high beam, wow, loads of difference. <laughs> so that's 30 lumens there from the Euro hike. Right, so this sun blesser on its lowest setting Sorry guys, but I'm not seeing anything on that tree compared with the Euro hike, and they're supposed to be the same. So let's try it on its medium. So that's medium. I'd say no, that's about the same as the Euro hike, maybe. Maybe a bit better. And then full brightness. That's your full brightness. And that's quite a decent level of brightness to be able to see around obviously i have got my phone camera um torch on but even so that's that's a decent level of brightness that will do you for most jobs around camp i reckon and then last but not least we've got the quark so low so you see that's good level of brightness isn't it even on low that's on the spotlight by the way which is why it's quite a, a nice focused beam medium so as you can see that really is getting quite bright now so low medium high and I don't know if you'll be able to see this but you see it actually reaches over to the castle on the other side of the lake look now that is impressive okay so i'm going to walk back to the car just using the sun blesser head torch you can see it's it's not doing a bad job you might be able to walk around find where you need to go do your camp tasks lightweight torch I would say this is pretty good to be fair. If you want to get down off a mountain, I'd go with the out kit. But if you just want to be able to do a little bit of hiking in the dark and do your camp tasks, I'd say this is a really good choice. But we will see 
how long it lasts on high beam for? That's the question. So, so far we've got Alp kit, most expensive, heaviest, the brightest. Sunblesser, medium price point, so £20, and it was the lightest and the second brightest. Not bad stats there. And the Euro Hike, which was the cheapest, is the second heaviest and it is the dimmest. Right, so let's see how long these torches last on full beam. So I'm going to do a quick recharge on these because obviously I've just shown you how bright they are. So to make it fair, I will quickly recharge those up and I'm going to put some fresh batteries into the Euro Hike. And then we're going to time it and see how long they last. Hopefully I won't be sat there forever. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so out of curiosity, I'm just going to go and see how long it takes to recharge these. Um, so I'm going to pit the Sun Blesser against the Alpkit Quark because obviously the Euro Hike just takes batteries, so that doesn't take any time to charge. In fairness, this also takes batteries, so I think that deserves a bonus point there. Um, but yeah, I just out of curiosity really, I just want to see how long these both take to, to recharge, so we shall see. Right, so we'll just get the uh, battery out of here, plug that in, this thing, where is it, there it is. <laughs> So see that's got a little red light on it there. Okay, so this one's just got a port on the bottom. Pop you in. There you go. So that's just got a red flashing light as well. So I'll pop those down there for you. And then we're gonna put this on a time lapse. Okay, so what do I think of these torches then overall? Um, would I get the Euro Hike again? No, not really. Not even for the you know cheapest chips, ten pounds. It's just not really worth it. I've got to say, guys. So don't waste your money on that one. Um, if you've only got twenty quid to spare, or you want a nice lightweight torch then I would say the Sun Blesser is pretty good value for money, to be honest. It had a decent amount of brightness. It lasted a long time on its highest setting, although it did dim a little bit. Um, but I found it really comfortable to wear, and it's very lightweight. It comes with this snazzy little case. So, yeah, I was quite impressed with that. But if you've got the 30 quid, I would recommend this one, to be honest. This is my favourite torch. It is super, super bright. Um, every time I use it, I just think, ah, yes, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those, um, but it is quite heavy um, on your head. So, you know, it's quite bulky, um, whereas that's quite nice and, and lightweight and quite comfortable. So there you go. That's what I think of these torches. So if you want to get your hands on this torch, here's how to enter. 
So because it's a giveaway um, to say thank you to all my subscribers, I'm not going to put any rules or anything like that. Just put in the description, torch, you know, capital letters, commas, whatever you want to do. Just make it really clear that you want the torch. Um, I trust you that you're my subscriber. So um, if you're not a subscriber and you want the torch, shame on you. <laughs> um so yeah, and if you want five extra chances of winning this, um, then put in the comments what was the last piece of rubbish that you picked up that wasn't yours. So I want to try and get everybody on this leave no trace tip. So you know we've got to all encourage each other, challenge you to pick up some rubbish that wasn't yours. I did it on my camp this morning actually. I came back from a lovely beach camp and I, I picked up loads of broken glass that was all around the, the sort of fire area, the fire pit that people somebody had used um, and just random other little bits of rubbish. So there you go. I'm not going to get five entries though. <laughs> that would kind of defeat the point, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little review. Basically, don't bother with the Eura hike. Get the quark. Really good torch. If you've only got 20 quid, you want something nice and lightweight, get this one.